Well, the youth vote, the youth voice, I should say, in the climate fight is very critical. Nasi Priya Kangujam is one of those important voices. She is at COP27 as part of the Youth Alliance. Nasi Priya, as we can see there, joins me right now. It's so good to see you. Nice to talk with you. Indeed, we spoke a couple of years ago, um, and uh, and and you were talking about all the different things that you're doing back home in India. I know that you were at COP25 in Madrid. Uh, this was back in 2019. You were just eight or so years old. Talk to me about what has changed since the time you were there to where you are now, Lissi Priya. Well, there is nothing changed at all. Our leaders are just telling beautiful speeches. But what they're doing is nothing. They're just busy in blaming each other instead of finding a long-term solution. We don't want any temporary solution. We want a permanent solution. You have been... In the last over three decades, even before I was born, of uh, they have organized 26 times of hopes, but all have failed. But this time, we don't want you to fail again. They need to prove the climate and leadership by climate action, not by beautiful speeches to get some claps in COP27. And you and so many members of the youth, and we're showing pictures there, um, coming together saying, this is about our future now. This is about uh, us getting um, and being able to have a better future. The loss and damage from climate change and, and being able to have compensation for that so that countries like yours can move forward, countries around the world can move forward and they can have a better future. Um, you spoke at this year's COP27. Tell me about the message and what you talked about. Well, actually, I'm coming here all the way from India to tell our world leaders to deliver concrete climate action now for the loss and damage caused by the climate crisis to the global south. Um, and also, I don't want my, my generation is already the victims of climate crisis. I don't want my future generations to face the same consequences because of your inaction and empty false promises. I want our leaders to take a pre climate action plan right now during this COP27 in front of us for a better, cleaner and safer future. We want climate justice now. Act now to save our planet and our future. And the Cypria, you have already been doing uh, so much in your own country as well. There's a picture that you tweeted out. Um, there it is. We're showing it, an iconic picture there of the Taj Mahal. Uh, there's two versions. One before where you show the amount of garbage and plastic hitting behind this majestic building to the work that you've been doing to what it looks like now. It is cleaned up. And and, and that really speaking volumes, the Cypria, to what young people such as yourself are doing. Uh, well, it was one of my biggest achievements and when I came to Taj Mahal for the first time, I saw the plastic pollution around it and I started, um, I protested there in the Taj Mahal uh, with a banner writing behind the beauty of Taj Mahal is plastic pollution. The picture gone viral in the social media and the plastic pollution around Taj Mahal was cleaned within 24 hours. And the authority was fined rupees 100,000. Now, the, the iconic monument has now been transformed into a single use plastic free monument. And I know so, that you've actually um, you've got a business that's running as well, Lucy Pierre, where you're taking that plastic and you're reusing it, you're creating it into something that it can yeah. be used. Um, it's my so I've launched a new initiative called Plastic Money Shop where people can bring single use plastic waste from their home and can take free rice, um, a stationary items or a plant sampling. And then after collecting it, we recycle it into 100 person recycled single use plastic waste into eco friendly bricks, road tiles, house roof sheets, school desk, benches, etc. And the mission of this project is to eliminate every single-use plastic from our planet. And it stops the single-use plastic waste to reach our oceans, rivers, seas, lakes, and our land. It's incredible work that you're doing, Lucy Priya. You're just 11 years old. Your voice is loud and strong. We're going to continue, of course, to follow the efforts that you're making and, uh, and of course, the efforts that making uh, of so many youth right around the world. Lucy Priya, thank you so much for giving me your time today. We'll certainly be staying in touch with you.
Thank you very much. Nice talking with you. Wonderful to see Lucy Priya uh, Kangujam. She's just 11 years old. She's an Indigenous climate activist and founder of Child Movement.